753. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. After backing up the likes of the Rolling Stones and Tina Turner, just to name a few, we welcome to the program Grammy-winning artist Lisa Fisher, who's in Calgary headlining her own tour. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for, welcome, uh, for waking up early with us and for joining <laughs> us here this morning. Uh, many of us have watched the award-winning documentary, 20 Feet from Stardom, and you were mm. featured heavily in this. Why did you decide it was time to step out on your own and do your own tour after touring with these huge bands for many decades? It was mainly because of the film, because people were calling and asking, oh, wow, do you do any shows? Do you have a band? And I was like, no! And so I called uh, Linda Goldstein, who manages Bobby McFerrin. Mm. I did some work on his record, and uh, I begged her to help me. And so she did, and we put a band together. There are three members, J.C. Maillard, who's the musical director, Terry Arpino, who's the drummer, and Aidan Carroll, who's the bass player, who will all be featured tonight. Incredible. And I was reading about the live show and how you essentially sing backup for yourself. So <laughs> you sing with two microphones. How does that work? I was at a sound check at the beginning of this journey, and I had to decide between two microphones. Um, so I'm singing in one, singing in the other, and I remembered as a kid, I saw some woman singing at a club with two mics, and it hit me. I was like, why do I have to choose between one or the other? Let me use both. And that's how the whole journey of using the second mic as an alter ego, or as a background uh, singer, or as a just a voice of reason. Fascinating. Yeah. Have it all. Yeah. Yes. Why have not? All the microphones. <laughs> all right. Uh, we have some footage of you on tour with Rolling Stones. This has been a big piece of your life. And um, now Keith Richards had said that you were as powerful as the rest of the guys put together. How does that make you feel? I just love him so much. Yeah. I mean, all the guys are just so beautiful and so special in my heart. And they're each, so, they're. They're individuals, but together, they're just so amazing. Mm. And so it's, it's very humbling. Yeah. What do you take out of watching someone like Mick Jagger perform night after night? <sighs> he's like a cougar. <laughs> and you never know what he's going to do. He's right. like that cat that pounces on your lap, and you go, ah! and then you go, aw. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so there's a lot of improv. Oh, my gosh, yeah. It's rock and roll for sure. Yeah, and yeah. you're feeding off of each other. Yes. Uh, describe, how about Tina Turner? What's that like? Amazing. I mean, she has a really clear vision about the presentation and the energy that you have to put out. And when I remembered first seeing her and meeting her, how petite she was. Mm. But... I never got that watching her on television. I never got that listening to her voice. She sounded like she was six foot six. Her energy is six foot six. Right. And the energy that you have to put out behind her has to be six foot six. Right. You know? So yes. it's pretty amazing. You put it all out on the stage. A very versatile lineup of musicians that you've worked with, including Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor. Oh, What's that experience like? Amazing. Mm. You know, it's so funny because I didn't really know any of their songs. And I got a phone call, and I spoke to Mr. Reznor over the phone. And he was just so calm and very cool. He says, well, do, have you heard the music? I said, no. He says, why don't you listen to music and then give, give me a call back. And I listened to the music, and I was like, is this the same guy I was just talking to on the phone? Because right. it's just like, <laughs> all this angst. But he was so zen on the phone. So it was really interesting. It was lovely to see the yin and the yang. And you're able to yeah. assimilate all of this experience and knowledge and put forward your own work into your own show. How rewarding is that for you to be able to present yourself in the spotlight? It's a blessing to feel like you have a purpose in anything that you do, in everything that you do. And so to be able to make a connection through the melodies, through the silence, through the harmonies, uh, through the interaction, not only with the musicians, but with the audience, because they make up a huge part of what happens in the performance. Mm. So it's, it's a gift. It's truly a gift. A gift that you will share with Calgarians tonight, and uh, it is at the Jack Singer Concert Hall, the Arts Commons, tonight at 7.30 p.m. A true artist, and uh, we welcome you to Calgary, and we look forward to seeing you play it live. Thank, Thank you so much you. for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for sharing those <laughs> stories with us as well.